Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to record your iPad screen. And I'm gonna show you the simplest way first, which is something that comes with your iPad. You just have to set it up and it records videos right onto your iPad storage. And then I'll show you a more advanced option that requires a computer, but you could do a lot more with it. And that's the option I use to record my iPad and iPhone videos using a computer. So we'll go over those two processes of recording a screen on any iPad. All right, let's go with the very first option. First, you have to set something up in the settings. So let's click settings here. And you need to click something over here called control center. And I'll show you how to access this once you add it. But under control center, there's a bunch of items here and some of them may not be added to your control center. So if they're not, you'll see an option called screen recording. Press the plus sign next to it and go up here. And these are all the items that are now in your control center, including screen recording. So if you already have that up here, it says included, then you don't have to do anything. You already have it and I'll show you how to activate it. Next, let's exit this page now. And what we wanna do is bring down the control center. Now on some older iPads, it might be from the bottom, but basically you wanna access control center. And for a long time now, it's up here from this corner or from the top. Now that I added recording, it looks like this, this icon here. Press and hold on it, okay? And it's gonna show you. Start recording the screen. If you have apps like Zoom installed, you could also record onto those. But in this case, I wanna record it to my photos. Photos and videos are going to be stored that way. And then, do you want the microphone to be on or off? Are you talking? It's gonna pick up here if you're talking. If you're not, you could turn that off. You could also use other microphones that plug in for better sound quality. I'll put one in the description below that I use for my iPhone recording. Then what you wanna do uh, is you want to just press start recording. Now, it's gonna give you a three second countdown. Now, everything you're doing, including bringing this menu in and out, anything you do with this page is being recorded. So if I just open, let's say I open the Stocks app, everything that I'm showing on this app is gonna actually be recorded. Then I could go here, go back to settings. Let's say I need to show someone how to do something, like let's say adding an alarm. All this is getting recorded, okay? So now to stop this from being recorded, just bring this back and then click that. Okay, now it's stopped. Now where do you find that? Well, it's in your photos library over here. Now by default, you have this app called Photos. Go in there and it's gonna be my most recent over here, so if I, click to open it, this is the recording. It does include that whole control center area, so I'm not doing anything yet, I'm just playing back the recording here. But as you could see, whatever I did, including opening the stock app, the settings app is over here. Now, anytime I could edit this though, and make sure I start this a little bit later, okay, and end it a little bit sooner before I bring up the command center, press done, and this way I could save it as a new video clip or override that save. Now it's a much cleaner edit and it doesn't start in a place where I don't want it to. So that's an easy way to record even with sound something on your iPad and then also quickly edit it using the Photos app. Let me show you a more advanced option now. Now this option requires you to plug in your iPad to a computer. And once you do that, let me trust this computer here. And I'll jump into the computer. There is an app on the computer called OBS. Now I'll put a link below, but it's a free app, completely free. Now, when you first open up OBS, I do recommend you watch my full tutorial on how OBS works, but really all you have to worry about is where it says source right here. If you right click on the section and you add a source, if you don't have a PC, by the way, it's control click will be the same as a right click. And we wanna do a video capture device. Okay, select that option right here. And we're gonna call this iPad test. And I'll press okay. And then press this drop down on their device. And as long as your iPad is trusted and plugged into your computer, you could choose this. Now this works for PC as well, by the way. And then you could choose any resolution you want. Let's say I wanna do this even in 4K. I could do this in 4K. If you don't have that option, you could do a HD. 1920 by 1080 is very good HD. And then press okay. And then I'm gonna actually stretch this out to fit. Okay, now whatever I wanna do, I could go ahead and do on my iPad and it's actually showing up here on my computer, right? On Mac or PC. And 
What's great about this is now I could do other things like adding much more powerful microphones, right? That can not plug into the iPad over here. So I could just basically click this option and bring in more advanced microphones like the one I'm using to record this video. And then what I could do is just press right here, start recording and it will record right on your computer. But here, let me just show you what, why this is so advanced. I could bring in images, for example, and turn my iPad. Let me just shrink down the iPad and like put it over here. This is sort of how I record my videos, right? I have a background. So these are the things you cannot do using the first method I showed you. And those are a couple of different ways to record your iPad screen on any iPad. And I hope you found this useful. Thanks so much for your time and I will see you next time.